now we are discussing the propagation of em waves so how these waves are produced according to the maxwell's equation time varying magnetic field is producing the electric field and vice versa nothing but time varying electric fields producing the magnetic fields time varying magnetic fields produces the electric fields and time varying electric fields produces the magnetic field that means within a given time if electric field is changing it produces the magnetic field if magnetic field is changing it produces the electric field that means these two will dominate trying to dominate each other by with respect to the variation with respect to the time so it creates an electromagnetic disturbance with respect to the variation in the time so it creates an electromagnetic disturbance with respect to time like that this disturbance will be created or formed like a loop or a wave formation both are right angles to each other such like this so time varying electric field and time varying magnetic field both are right angles to each other so like this the right angles we can show with arrow marks so here also we can draw the arrow marks so electric field is under the sinusoidal variation with respect to time magnetic field is also under the sinusoidal variation with respect to to time so what is this electromagnetic wave this electromagnetic disturbance sinusoidally varying with respect to time in and right angles to each other and at the same time this right angles to the propagation of the wave also the electromagnetic disturbance which is sinusoidally varying with respect to time and right angles to each other comma right angles to the propagation of wave this is the clear definition of electromagnetic wave 
now we will see what are the important features of these electromagnetic waves and formulas associated with this so the properties of em waves first one source of ems which materials are the sources of electromagnetic waves so the materials are the devices which were acting as oscillatory circuits or accelerated charged particles those are the sources of em waves so accelerated charged particles comma oscillating circuits are the sources of electromagnetic waves oscillating circuits means lr lcr cr circuits so lcr comma lr comma cr circuits because they are con it contains inductance resistance or inductance capacitance or capacitance resistance so they both are opposite in phase with respect to each other because of this opposite phase they will cancel each other and may be overlapped on each other it creates a disturbance in the wave propagation such like this we can say the uh, wave pattern of the electromagnetic waves these electromagnetic waves are not charged particles that's why they won't be deflected or they won't be attracted towards the electric and magnetic fields so these waves are uncharged so they won't show any response towards the electric and magnetic fields that means without any penetration or without any deviation these electromagnetic waves can pass through the electric and magnetic fields so the third property or third important property of the electromagnetic waves is this electromagnetic waves doesn't require any medium to propagate so they doesn't require any medium to propagate that means no medium is required to propagate the electromagnetic waves that means these waves can travel through the vacuum also they can travel through vacuum also but how much with how much velocity it will travel so to find out the speed of the electromagnetic waves through vacuum we should go to the electromagnetic analogs e to b analog nothing but the similarities the constant in the electrostatics is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the constant in the magnetic fields is mu naught by 4 pi so what we can say from this let me write e not by b not that is equal to what is e not 1 by 4 pi epsilon not b not mu not by 4 pi so 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into 4 pi by mu not is 4 pi 4 pi gets cancelled 1 by mu not epsilon naught so what is this e not by b not c so under the some conditions we can write 
speed of light is equal to 1 by square root of mu naught epsilon naught. So this is the way to find out the speed of light or speed of the electromagnetic waves in vacuum. So it is equal to the speed of light. That is one of the property. And these electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature. The EM waves are transverse in nature. This is also one of the important property of the electromagnetic waves. What about the energy of the electromagnetic wave? The electromagnetic waves has energy which is equally partitioned means the total energy of an electromagnetic wave is equal to the energy due to the electric field plus energy due to the magnetic field. So it is sum of the electric field energy to the magnetic field energy. Now we will discuss how this energy is partitioned among the electromagnetic wave. 